Hi, my name is Dave Thomas and I work with Miriam Process Technologies. I'm here today to talk to you about our MFT, Multifunction Tester, handheld calibrator products. The MFT was designed to be the one tool that I need technicians need to handle any application they may come up against during the course of their day. The base unit is the MFT 4000. The 4000 stands for calibration only and it consists of a display, a keypad for the user interface, voltage and current measurement, bays for up to three different modules, and a protector for bays that you don't use. It also has a serial port for digital communications used to update the firmware of the MFT and add communication files if you have the heart option. There's also a strap on the back for convenient carrying and it easily releases to allow you access to the battery bay. The keypad allows you to turn the unit on, turn the backlight function on, adjust settings of the instrument, uh, access the heart communication functions, access quick menus and calibration features. There's also a contrast adjust key that allows you to adjust that contrast from any point in your use of the MFT. The display will show you up to four measurements at any one time. And it also tells you the definitions of the white soft keys that are located immediately beneath the display. Those soft keys change in their functionality depending on where you are in the use of the MFT. There's also numeric entry um, across these rows of keys. Uh, the unit is smart enough to know whether it's expecting a numeric entry or an alpha entry. You don't have to worry about when those keys are active. Just if you need to input a number value, go ahead and click the number values the way you would on a cell phone for letters. The bays in the top will receive any of our uh, modules. We have several types. We do recommend that you turn the unit off before installing a, a module. So once the base unit is off, insert the module till it clicks and turn the unit on. The module itself carries all the calibration coefficients that's required to make it useful to the base unit. The base unit queries the newly installed module and makes it available for your use and displays it right there for you. If you need to change the unit of measure, press the function key and then the sensor bay location number that you need and you can adjust uh, any of 11 different pressure units on a pressure module. To install additional modules, simply turn the unit off, drop the new module in and once again it will read and pick that up. Our pressure modules are extremely accurate, plus or minus 0.025% of full scale, and that includes all effects of repeatability, linearity, hysteresis, and temperature. No temperature effect on our calibration accuracy from 23 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. That's best in the industry. We have ranges from 10 inches of water column, differential, all the way up to 3,000 PSIG. We also have a line of absolute pressure modules from about one atmosphere up to 100 PSIA. Again, these can be mat added at any time for calibration uh, needs that, as they come up. We also have uh, temperature modules that are available. These temperature modules will not only measure thermocouple or RTD output, they will also simulate the output of an RTD or a thermocouple. This lets you calibrate transmitters in the field, it allows you to check receiving devices that might be in your uh, two-wire loops. Our thermocouple module handles up to 12 different types of thermocouples. You can also uh, program it to output in millivolts directly if you'd like to do that. Our RTD module handles up to 23 different types of RTDs. Again, it will measure any of those RTDs. It will also source uh, the output of an RTD for a transmitter or receiving device calibration. Our uh, electrical module is called a VMA and even though the base unit has a built-in volt and current meter, it measures only. The VMA module will also provide DC volts or DC current to the user. So it will measure um, 0 to 55 volts or plus or minus 100 milliamps or it will source 24 volts for powering up transmitters temporarily or you can source precise voltages or currents for whatever needs that you have, whether that's calibrating a loop or checking a receiving device.